I want to show you one tool everybody ought to have. It's probably going to be some wind noise. Um, this is, uh, that's probably made in China. I'm not sure where the hell this is made, but uh, it almost looks like a, a bolt cutter. It's a structural rivet gun. And um, kind of showed it on some other videos before, but within videos, so I don't know if I really did a video on these pop rivet guns. This is a typical small pop rivet gun. This uses uh, eighth inch and I think, I don't know, three thirty seconds, which aren't bad. This is an um, eighth inch pop rivet. The way it works is it pulls this stud in and that that little end there goes into here and it mushrooms out and then it snaps off the end and what you have is um, a rivet but the beauty of this is you can put these in places where you can't get behind something so it's good for in place of welding especially with dissimilar material say you're going to put aluminum plate on steel um, say you're fixing a rust hole in the floor right for one and you want to use aluminum uh, you can bolt it on there but what you could do is use some kind of like uh, tar or some kind of sealer caulking sealer construction glue anything I don't anything that's really waterproof um, sandwich that between the steel and the aluminum and then um, you know rivet along and it, it'll join the two pieces of dissimilar metal together you're not going to be able to weld over like caulking you might caulk after you're done. Um, these things are very, very strong. These big rivets like this. And these are some long ones. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how this works. And um, I think this is like a, I forgot what it is. I think it's only like a $35 tool. And it has like all these different sizes on here from like an eighth inch to, I don't know, three thirty seconds. I think that's the eighth inch right there, the little one. Um, and what I have on here is the big one, which is the quarter inch. And these are quarter inch by half half inch. Well, I guess it's 12.4 millimeters, 12.2 millimeters is a half inch. Um, but these will reach pretty damn deep. So even if you're joining like, um, you know, a couple pieces of 3 8 steel, man, or like say, not 3 8, um, eighth inch steel. You'd have no problem doing them with these. Two pieces of eighth inch steel, you'd have no problem. That's pretty heavy duty stuff, man. That's like bumper stuff. Not to say you want to make a bumper out of this, but you might want to throw, you don't trust your wells, you might want to put a couple of these in there just to make sure it's good, you know. Um, so, I'll give you a quick demo on this. First thing you want to do is you want to load it in the gun. And you can't load it unless you open this up like that. See this? You gotta open it up. Open it up all the way, and then it slides in there. So what it has is there's like jaws in here that grip on this each side, and they pull this in. And these structural rivets are freaking strong. And then it goes in this this little container here. It'll fill up with the little uh, you know the broken off piece that you don't use for the rivet. So let me show you how this thing actually works. Okay, so we're going to join this piece, which you know you can weld, but then you don't have to clean this off. You know, if you're not welding and you don't have a welder, so you're someplace where you don't have electricity, right? You could use this um, quarter inch hole. And a lot of times I used a, a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, I think I used 9 30 seconds. Usually I go up to um, uh, not nine, whatever the hell that was, five, th five thirty seconds, whatever the hell it is. Um, usually I go a sixty-fourth of an inch bigger, not a thirty-second of an inch bigger. Um, just so I can get this damn thing in here easier, because sometimes if it's exactly a quarter inch, it don't go in there. So that goes in there nice and easy. So we're gonna put this together. Do this right now. Okay, so it just can be a matter of squeezing the handle together till it pops.
and uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, there it goes you can feel it when it's it's pulling there it is snapped off so now this snapped off okay you can see that that snapped off and what was happening in the beginning there this was kind of falling inside there it was pulling it was gripping it then it was falling back in that's why I was holding it on an angle so this wouldn't fall back inside the hole whatever you want to call that now if you look at this this tool is freaking fantastic man because um, like I said dissimilar materials aluminum man steel don't matter what the hell it is and if you look at the back side see that's what it did that's what it did right there see it mushrooms it out now what you could do if you can get to the back side and the front side you can put like a quarter inch fender washer on here a regular washer and have a washer on each side just like a bolt and the other thing you could do is you can peen this down with a hammer and a dolly where this is really mushroomed out and, and, but still it's not going to come out man this sucker is like there's only one rivet in here and it's, it's in there tight you start putting a few of these damn things in here just two of these things it'll hold it like actually I think they're stronger than spot welds because a spot weld is going to break and then it totally fails this might get a little bit loose but it's not going to fail until it, it's you know until it, it totally strips out or this whole all this metal around here fails but like I said with a spot weld you're not going to be spot welding aluminum to steel but you can put a rivet to um, you know aluminum plate over steel so that's the tool right there and uh, I, I don't remember what it cost man I think it was under 40 bucks or some shit I use this thing quite a bit man and it's got all these different size rivets but I usually use my little one for the eighth inch rivets and I think there's a little one size up from there it's like uh, what is that uh, 5 30 seconds or something uh, but this this has a whole bunch of different sizes you get all these different size rivets which I have an assortment of different lengths you don't need to get a really long one like this you can use a shorter one for just a couple pieces of sheet metal but it shows you you can you can do a couple pieces of eighth inch steel with this no problem what and this is not a common tool that's in people's toolboxes it should be for the price and what it does it should be and you know maybe people got welders but a lot of times you can't grab a welder and freaking go someplace out in the middle of some nowhere and freaking repair something that you can repair with this. Now obviously you just can't repair everything a welder can, but it can do some stuff that a welder can't. Like uh, attaching uh, uh, dissimilar metals. And like I said, you don't need to get behind here like you can always say, oh I could put a bolt in that. Well, say so you couldn't get behind this. That's why they call them structural blind rivets. You only need to get on the side where you're drilling the hole stick them in here and uh, you know start squeezing the handle it pulls up that you know that nail until it snaps snaps off and you're all set